In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this motion graphics style animation for your real edits in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. So right now, as you can see, I have this timeline created. You can just go ahead, create a timeline at vertical settings. So let me just show you the settings. So for this one, these are the settings, just simple settings. Although you can just change, do the same thing for even a long form video as well. But right now, this is just for a short form. And the reason why I'm focusing on the size for this is because we're going to do something different later on so right now you will notice this is at 1080 by 1920 which is normal size for a real edit but we're going to do something different when we create the fusion composition what you need to do is just go ahead drag in a fusion composition right here now right click open in fusion page and from here just drag in a background and connect this with the media out all right so this is the part where we need to understand how this is going to work so for this one when we have this background selected you need to go over to the image and from here you need to unselect the auto resolution now we're going to simply just change the dimensions of this this composition this fusion composition although the main timeline is just going to remain at 1080 by 1920 but for this one you need to change the width or you can say double the width so for this just go over to the width and add in this aesthetic to multiply and then add in this too so that's all you need to do and then just hit enter and that's it so now we have this large size canvas you can say the resolution has increased and let me also go back to the background and just change this to white so you can see so right now this is the length of the this is the width of the fusion composition now but if you go back you will notice that okay this is just at the vertical form that we started with so for this effect, so once you have this canvas set, I'm just going to call this canvas, we're going to add in some elements. All you need to do is just go over to the link in the description and download these assets that I have for free. And now you can come back in and start adding them. Now, the most important one is this light gray wall background. So this is the most important one. So let's connect this with the background right here. Now what you need to do is you need to increase the size of this so that this covers the whole screen. And we're going to use this as the background and this will just add a little bit, little bit more depth to it. But of course, feel free to use any background that you want. That's up to you. But the next thing we need to do is just set in all these elements. So we're just going to add in all these elements. So for example, with this plant, let's start with this one, connect this right here. And one thing is you might notice, okay, this is just an image. Well, how do we remove this image? But you need to just go over to the apply mode and change this to darken. That's it. Now you can just position it right here, somewhere around here. All right, so for this one, you can select this merge and increase the size right here. But let's go ahead and add in this transform so that we can decrease the size again. And you might be wondering why we're doing this. That's because we're going to add in a duplicate. So for this one, once we have this set, we can just select this transform and add in this duplicate node by pressing control space on the keyboard you can search for it and then once we have that make sure the copies are at two and then you can use this center to just simply move this up that's it so this is the way to add multiple elements so right now this works in this case but of course this might be different in other cases but this is a good technique if you want to have duplicates but you just need to make sure that the merge is covering the whole screen otherwise this is just going to get cropped out all right, so once we have this set, let me just go over to the merge. From here, let me just move these right here, somewhere around here. And actually, one thing you can do is go over to the duplicate. And in this one, let's just decrease the size maybe. Move this right here. So something like this. And for this one, let's move this down a little bit. All right, so now let's move on to adding the other elements. So for example, this mouse. Let's add this in. Do the same thing that we did before. Click on darken. Now you can just reduce the size, change the angle, position this right here maybe. Do the same thing with the other elements as well. So for example, we had this headphone. Let's add this in. Change this to darken. Reduce the size, move this right here. Actually, let's move this up right here. 
And also let's go ahead and add in this mind image. And actually this is where it's going to get interesting. We need to show this right there at the center. So the way we can do that is, first of all, let me just go right here at the background. And I'm going to add in, let me just move this one as well to the side. And right here, I'm going to add in another background, connect this with the merge. And you will notice that we have this set at 1080 by 1920. So you can just simply move this right here. And this will be the second screen. So this will just work as a guide to know that, okay, where is the second part of the screen? Where's the first part? I know this is just one screen, but if you go back to the main timeline, you will, no you will notice what I'm talking about. So right here, you will see that I'm just going to position it right here. So this will be the first screen. And if you move this right here, this will be the second screen. So that's it. That's how simple this concept is. And once we have this set right here, now we can just position this. Okay, so this is already in, in the position I want. But let me just move this up and also add in this wire. So we had these wire images. Connect them with the merge. And also let's change this to darken. And just for a while, let me just hide this background so that I can move this wire image right here. So let's say I want to move this right here. But let me change the angle as well. So something like this. And also we need to show that it's connected. So let's move this somewhere around here. All right, perfect. Now you will notice I have this taken from a website which has some sort of a watermark. To remove that, you can just use this mask. That's it. Connect this with this media in. Increase the width, increase the height and then just simply move this Y up. That's it. So now we have this set as well. And one more thing I added was this keyboard. So this is also going to be in the middle of the screen. So let's change this to darken, change the angle to 90 and move this down. And also let's reduce the size. So that's it. And for this side of the screen, we're going to add in Let's say this, this one, it's more like a texture, but let's just move this right here and change this to darken as well. Move this up. So something like this. One final thing is these leaves. Let's just connect them. And for this one, I'm just going to increase the size to cover the whole screen and just simply change the apply mode to, let's just change this to multiply and you will see that this covers the whole screen. And for this one, I'm just going to add in this blur node as well, because we don't want this too visible. We, we can just keep it subtle, let's say at 15. So now we have the whole scene set up. Now we just need some text animations. And then finally, we will go back to the main timeline and just move these screens. So for the text animations, let me just move this right here, add in this text, connect this with the merge. and Go over to the text, let's type in. And the font that I'm using is Poppins. Let's go with extra bold. All right, so right here we can just position it. Let's just keep this at white. And let's again add in another text. Connect this right here. And this time I'm just going to copy the settings, paste them right here, and then just add in. And for this one, I'm going to change this to black. And in the shading, I'm going to just add a gradient. So right here. All right, something like this. So the overall theme is more like green and gray. What we can do is right here, right where we added this text, we can just add in this color corrector. And we can just slightly change this to the green side so that everything is matching with the same sort of a theme. So that's it. And also let's increase the gain a little bit. Something like this. All right, so now let's animate our text. Right click on this one in this box right here. Click on follower, go over to modifiers. And from here, let's change the delay to let's say two and change this from left to right. Go over at, go right here to transform. And from here, let's go over at, let's say 10. 
we get keyframes at this size at x and y then go over to zero change this to zero as well all right and let's go back to timing and let's just change the delay to one okay so just go ahead and change the playback mode to quarter so that we can see how this looks all right now do the same thing for this one the second text as well follower go to modifiers change this to one let's go over at 30 create a keyframe at this size at x and y then go over at let's say 10 actually let's go back 15 and change them to x and y uh, zero all right so right here where we have this animation finishing we will start the transition to the other side and before we do that, let's go over to the main timeline and see how this looks. So we need to position this. So first of all, let's go back to this fusion composition. And from here, we have this background. Let's enable this one. This, we're just using this as a guide so that when we go back to the main timeline, we can position this right. You just need to make sure that there are no black screens. You need to manually set this. And that's it. So right here, we have this text coming in right here. And then from this part, just create a keyframe at position. And then let's go all the way to this side. Let's say at eight. And then we will create another keyframe. So don't do anything right now. We're just creating this as a reference because we do need to zoom this in as well. So right here at the beginning, let's create a keyframe at zoom and at position. And then right where we created this keyframe, the second keyframe at the position, Let's just zoom this in and also let's move this right here. So something like this. All right. And this one, this keyframe right here, we can just move this right here so that this covers the second part of the screen. All right, but we do need to move this quickly. So let me just copy this and come back right here. And by the way, you can go over to the keyframes right here, this panel right here, and let's go right here and we can just change this position right here. And these ones, we can just delete them. So this is it. And now what you can do is go right here, right click and click on ease in then go right here, click on this, Click on ease out and then this one ease in and then finally the first one let's go right here right click click on ease out and then this one as well ease out all right so you will notice we get this movement nice looking movement and now let's go back to the composition just make sure you know where this is ending so right here you can just position this right here and then go over to the fusion composition so that we know that okay so we can just come over here at 60 and then from here we can start the second part of the animation the second text so let's just unselect this one right here then go right here and add in another text connect this and let's select this one edge anchor move this right here move this down also let's change this to poppins and let's change the color to some dark color and then from here I'm just going to set this at regular so that's it and also one more thing let's just change the line tracking something like this all right so we were here at 60 so we will just start the animation from here so we can just right click actually we can just do a simple opacity effect or otherwise you can also do the follower keyframe thing that we just did so right here at shading I'm going to create a keyframe at Capacity and then at 60, let's change this to zero. By the way, one more thing we can do is let's go right here at 70. And in the layout, let's create a keyframe at center and then also at 60, let's create a keyframe. And then the one at 70, let's just move this right here. So something like this. All right. So we can now just 
change this back to full right here at the end if you go right here we can also just keep on moving this so that this part is also visible all right so this was it for this video i hope you found this video useful and i will see you in the next one